The Shiite Muslim majority country of Azerbaijan recently invited more than a dozen evangelical pastors on an official visit to the nation. But why would the president be interested in evangelical Christians? CBN Middle East correspondent Julie Stahl takes a look. Azerbaijan is located on the Caspian Sea, bounded on the north by Russia and the south by Iran. But this former Soviet Republic, where Shiite and Sunni Muslims intermarry and Christians and Jews live freely, believes that tolerance is the way to go. Dialogue is very important during this time because in different parts of the world, we are witnessing lots of conflicts and wars, which makes it necessary for establishing dialogue. Government Minister Mubarez Gurbanli hosted the group of 15 evangelical leaders and a rabbi. We are part of the Muslim countries, but despite this fact, we are also home for three different religions. That's the importance of this event. Gurbanli told CBN News his country is leading this dialogue because of its history. Azerbaijan hosted many religions over the centuries, including Judaism and Christianity, before Islam arrived 800 years ago. That's why history gives us a good opportunity to bring up the ideas of tolerance and mutual understanding. It started when Azeri President Ilham Aliyev invited American rabbi Mark Schneier to bring evangelical leaders to his country. Schneier, who has been working to improve Jewish-Muslim relations for 15 years, teamed up with Robert Stearns to create a better understanding between Christians and Muslims. Going to Azerbaijan was the natural first step. There are 57 Muslim nations. Azerbaijan has led the effort in terms of presenting a more progressive, a more centrist, a more inclusive, a more welcoming Islam than is supportive of the State of Israel. I believe it's an extraordinary moment in the Kingdom of God where God is moving behind the scenes in ways that we can't imagine. The group met in Baku, the capital of Azerbaijan. Their first stop was the state cemetery and the Alley of Martyrs, where civilians massacred in a Soviet crackdown in 1990 are buried. Schneier's group was treated like royalty in this Muslim-majority country. Azeris say they're very proud of their nation. And one man told us the thing he likes best about his homeland is that they love hosting guests. The Grand Mufti of the Caucasus region told the group establishing relationships is not based on religion, but on common humanity. He later hosted the group for dinner at his palace. What really has surprised me the most is the level of communication, relationship, and it seems like genuine friendship between the various uh, major faiths that are in this country. You just don't see that. Uh, even in the United States, we seem to have a lot of intolerance right now. It's uh, one of the places that I think are really leading the way by example of what coexistence and um, cultural harmony, but also uh, religious tolerance looks like. Schneier said he believes this is a first step toward reconciliation between Muslims and evangelicals. Stearns called it an opportunity for the kingdom. This could be a moment of wonderful blessing for Azerbaijan. So I'm inviting the church, uh, the Christian church worldwide, to pray with me that this is an hour uh, for the glory of the Lord to come to this nation. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Baku, Azerbaijan.